Hi, so she tells you, welcome to my channel. This is your reading for the next week. Let's see. What do we have for you? A quick message. It's a general reading, so take as it resonates and leave the rest. I do offer personal readings, so she tells you, if you're interested, check the description box below. Your first card is illumination. It's like new ideas, new goal, new objective for this new year. It's a very positive card. It's you also having faith. It's you trusting the universe that everything will be okay. So she tells you, it's very good card and good energy here. What do you need to focus for the next week? There is an important message of phone called some good news coming for you. So she tells us what you don't see coming. With the nine of salt, I uh, see you thinking too much. For some of you, you're not sleeping well. It's a lot of stress, worries, anxiety on your mind. The best you can do is to spend time with your friends, to go out, go outside, spend time around nature, animals. There is people loving you, your friends, your family, your community. You're not alone. You need help and support at this time. Okay? Focus on the positive to attract positive things. Sagittarius. What do you need to know? We have security, the so anchor card. Stability can be talking about a contract coming for you, something long term. Let's see, we have the bridge, very positive energy. Successfully overcoming a problem. It's you finding a solution here. Definitely some good news, confirmation. You animal spirit for the next week. I see you working really hard. You need to collaborate. Your challenge next week. You're feeling very patient, waiting for some good news, an important message here, or waiting for someone to come back in your life, okay? So the best you can do with this card, stop waiting. Focus on yourself, take care of yourself, okay? An advice for you. lighten up. You need to know, Sagittarius, how beautiful and attractive you are. Okay. Some of you say with a Leo coming for you, some are very attractive also. Okay. I can see desires between you two. Let's see three cards about relationships, Sagittarius. We have the Empress and the Child. For some of you, it's talking about a long distance relationship. Or this person needs to travel to be with you. Let's see. You're feeling stuck. Pisces energy. Just go with the flow. There is a new passion between you and someone. A new connection here. Important for you to free yourself from your past. You okay? care? Because it's an illusion, it's on your mind. Go with the flow. There is Leo energy again. Definitely I can see Leo coming for you. You okay? care? This person is very stable, is offering you a commitment, something long term.
with the eight of swords we have you feeling stuck because you are waiting for someone from your past to come back in your life there is no more communication but you're not giving up about this connection sagittarius feeling lost ghosted by this person left out in the cold for some of you have children with this person but definitely is not the right person for you okay you deserve so much better sagittarius The truth will be revealed here. Clarity coming for you. It's like the situation wasn't fair. This person was doing something behind your back. A lot of stress and anxiety. But there is a new connection here. New passion. What's going on with the Ace of Wands? Knight of Pentacles. This new person is very slow. But stable. Taurus with a Capricorn energy. And definitely is offering you something you can see. A commitment here is not just about passion. The universe is gifting you what you really want. I really feel like what you really want is stability in relationship. No more confusion, okay? Let's see, Sagittarius. Communication, some good news, an invitation, a gift. I feel like it's the end also about the connection, a relationship, because it was distance between you two. Okay. Time for you to make a sacrifice. I can see someone coming to visit you. Important message. Okay. Be open for a new love offer, Sagittarius. Let's see. About your career, your money, and your finances, we have the page of cards. For some of you, you're very good working with children. You're someone very patient. Let's see. Making a choice here to make money, to have everything you want. You have two different options, I should tell you, about your career. The strength card, taking a risk, a new opportunity, something long term and stable, a contract here. But you need to have courage to try something risky here, different from your past. It's like you're ready for a new adventure. Sagittarius, with the strength card, is making decisions strong, being fair. Time for you to act. The wait is over. You have a lot of courage. You can see the strength showing up twice here. Having courage, strength, facing your fear. Time for you to be more confident. With the King of Cups is telling me that you're very good helping others. Someone very generous, Sagittarius. Good with people, working with children, your community. The Fool is a new adventure. You're taking a risk, but with the Ten of Swords, you're going to end a contract, a job. Okay? Because it's not serving you anymore. I see you choosing a new opportunity here. But there is a lot of competition. You're going to collaborate with others, okay? It's a new offer, new job here. Maybe your relocation changes about your career. A lot of abundance coming for you, a new light, hope, Sagittarius. Some good news about a job here. Let's see. An advice for you. What do we have with Sagittarius? Your advice is to be open for someone romantic here. Yeah. 
a gesture, an offer, an invitation, a gift, maybe a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. You are attracting someone very romantic and caring around you. Sagittarius. You're manifesting this person in your life. You need romance to fall in love again. Okay. Sagittarius, this is your reading. Thank you so much for watching, being here. Happy New Year. Take care. Bye.